dress like that. <laughs> look at look at how my students come to class. Apparently, distinguished gentlemen here. You know, like got some pals riding that ride. Is our film film crew there? <laughs> well, apparently we're screwing around. Is what we're film doing, but one. we got a we had a bike here. We got Xavier, right? Right. And your 250 Ninja here, and we're doing some other diagnostic, and we're going around and talking about how we can make things better, right? So talk a little bit about like us checking the bike out. Um, as we started just grabbing stuff at the front, checking the bearings, and then we came into the handlebars. I didn't notice that some bolts were loose, and you could actually just like use your finger to untie them. So. And we'll what did I say? Let's let's just use that. What did I say? Because a bunch of you out there are giving me a ridiculous hard time about riding a Harley now, and I got tough skin. I could take it, but the. Uh, People forget that Japanese motorcycles will vibrate things loose because of... It's going, talk, it's riding up at like 16,000 RPM. This so little 250 knocking. stupid, yeah. stupid, stupid high RPM. And how do I describe the motor? Uh, it's just two pistons going up and down. So. But how's it mounted? Rigid. It's rigid mounted. So stuff's going to vibrate loose or whatnot. So go around the little extra stuff that we could check. I talk about the grab and fill test or whatnot. But here's, here's the point of this video. And this is my first time showing you guys this. Man, every single bike that comes in, gonna obviously air the tires, check things over, but this is one that is often not touched, and I can't recommend enough, and that is to service the kickstand here. You see how stiff that is? Yeah. So the problem is, it's like if you know somebody just kicks it up and they think they have it up, they might go make that first left-hand turn and then have that dig into the concrete and it's going to be a bad day. Yep. You know, people getting on their bike, kicking it, and it's not working. So the ideal situation in a perfect scenario is to pull the bolt, take the spring off, emery cloth it, and do what you're really supposed to do. Does that make sense? But if I want to give my customer just a, a little extra service right now, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of douse this up. Trying not to get it everywhere. Definitely don't want to get it on a tire here. Okay, see it starting to work itself. So the other thing, making sure that that fastener is not actually in this here. But what do you think of that? Smooth. Yeah, get this cleaned up or whatnot. And I hardly used any, so I mean, it might even. Yeah, I'm still a little dry back here. Let that get in there and work. This stuff's great, this PB Blaster. And, and yet, actually, uh, CJ the other day, one of our former students does a lot of sharing out there too. Um, he had a different product that he said he was using that he really liked too. But uh, I love these guys because they also uh, uh, participate in education. They even have some education stuff on their website. But let's see here. So let's think about what we want is reasonable, okay, for it to kick back. What's still holding it right there? The spring is right because we're still overcoming that leverage here so when we get to a point here that the springs not doing quote its job here it actually kicks it back and that's what we want all right you guys learn anything yep. yeah. all right today is just one of them days all right last couple of days have been pretty crazy as far as uh what we've been showing about you know, our, our goal was to go in and check a battery in a charging system and, you know, we're using jumper bikes and, and just getting so many great things that you can take to the shop and make yourself not only knowledgeable, make yourself faster. You know, be able to get in there, get the, uh, get the time, fill not work orders, stuff like that. So, awesome. I suppose you probably want to ride this thing. I don't got a battery for that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ride it. I'm just going to go rip on it, okay? All right, man, make it a great day. Keep wrenching. Keep wrenching. Keep wrenching. Keep wrenching.